Hi, Fred. Hi. Yeah, we have stopped meeting. Yeah, we need to places. stop meeting <laughs> like that. So, you know, containers, they allow us to do wonderful things. They really change the way we walk. Uh, but like any piece of software, they have their issues. Yes. Like this one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have a so, beautiful yeah, green container, quite small, but uh, at least it's green. What do you think we can do with it? Let's see. So, yeah. would you like to see? Just grab this, put this on, and I'll, I'll put mine on. <laughs> in a very natural way. <laughs> That's the way we put container in production at JFrog. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I've been hiding here to steal all your data. <laughs> well, go That's away from him. <laughs> 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 okay. So, for the one that didn't understand, that was a very ugly security vulnerability in our beautiful, beautiful green container. <laughs> and what, what do you know? In this container, we actually have a Debian package installed. Ooh. Yeah. And do you think, with those beautiful glasses, I look good with it? We can see what's inside. Yeah, let's give it a try. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> 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 okay, so this dude here, shush. he didn't update his libraries since the 70s, I guess, <laughs> judging by the way he's dressed. <laughs> Let's try don't, once more. Don't keep outdated library in your Debian packages. You can see, get them disco. Ooh. And here's a WAR file here. That's it's a WAR file in the with the Java? Debian package. Let's look inside. Whoa, Let's that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> So yeah. that was the a, no, that you were a beautiful license but not compliant. So we kicked you out <laughs> of your work. Yeah, so we don't want you in our code and we actually have another jar file here. Deployed Ooh. in this container, not know what's inside, but uh, <laughs> probably something not good. <laughs> okay, that's a Java jar. So it's quite amazing. So we managed to see security vulnerability, outdated component, and a license compliance issue, all the way down to a Java jar, which is on the floor now. Uh, and all this with those uh, great uh, glasses. Do, do you think we can do uh, the same with uh, what's running in production? Because security vulnerability, sometimes we get them after the fact. They are already in production. You bet. Just put this on again. OK. Uh, I see some short guy sitting over there that looks suspicious. Can you stand Whoa. up for us? Here. <laughs> get him out. <laughs> So this was actually Robert Wright, the CTO, a CEO of Version I, which we will talk about later. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so Fred, these uh, glasses, they may be a fantasy, uh, but what we are, we would like to uh, talk to you about now is uh, actually introduce you to the real world, uh, where you can actually see those things. And we want to introduce you to Jeff Ogg's new product, Jeff Ogg X-Ray. <laughs> OK, so Jeff Ogg X-Ray. So like I mentioned, it's our new product. Uh, it's, a, it's a universal component graph. So we are building a, a graph of components uh, that is recursive. Um, and we actually built X-Ray and we tested it a lot to handle very, uh, very large gra graphs of components. So uh, we're speaking about hundreds of millions of nodes with, and giving you a great performance. It has very strong integration with Artifactory. Uh, it has impact analysis for your artifacts, so we're able to, to, do the, the, to, to see the side effects very quickly. And uh, we are exposing open APIs for partners that want to uh, join this effort. So uh, let's see a short demo. Okay. 
So I need to exit the presentation, I guess. Okay, good. So this is the UI of X-ray, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a watch. Uh, try to zoom in a little. So it's a better version. And I'm going to create a, a new watch here. Uh, we'll call it performance. And we're going to give it some description. So performance issues. And we're going to select an artifactory instance that's already configured here. Uh, so out my app. It's the name of this artifactory instance. And I'm going to fill an email here. So I'm going to fill my own in jfog.org. And next thing that I want to do uh, for this uh, watch, so I created a watch. I created a notification channel, so we support several notification channels. And uh, I will create a filter now. So the filter I will create against Artifactory. So I'm going to create a property-based filter. And edit. And I'm going to use, so I want to monitor everything that's in production, that's marked in Artifactory as, as production. So I'm going to select environment and production. Right, and I'm going to uh, add this filter and create this notification this watch. And now I'm going to go back to Artifactor here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger this watch. I'm going to fake it. So like I mentioned, we have open APIs uh, for integration. We have two uh, APIs, basically. We have one API, which is uh, outbound, which is uh, supposed to talk to any, uh, any uh, supplier of data out there and, uh, and, and trigger a, a, a scan or, or a question about a certain component. And we have an inbound API that uh, we can take requests and notifications from any external component. So what we are going to do now, we are going to use the inbound API, and we're going to trigger an event about performance issues. And the way we are going to trigger it is by setting an Artifactory property. So internally, we have an Artifactory plugin. And uh, I'm going to add a property that the plugin uh, listens to. So this property is extra performance. And I'm going to give it, say, like a, a Jira issue, maybe, for, for a value. And I added this property, right? And what happens now is the plugin listens to this property change. He's going to talk to X-Ray through the inbound API and tell X-Ray that we have a new issue, a new notification, a new event, a new something that happened. So it can be performance. It can be like we saw here. Uh, security vulnerabilities, licensing issues, uh, uh, out-of-date components, uh, whatever. And if I watch my mail, so I think I have to refresh. So I have a new notification in my email, so you can actually see what the JFOG uh, icon looked like before it was a company. And this email tells me about a new security event, and it tells me about the affected files. So just remember, this is all an open API, and it's not bound to any specific product. If I go back to, to my X-ray UI, and I look into the notification tab, so I can see a new performance notification here. Uh, and I see that it has four affected uh, paths. If I drill down, so let's go to this jar that, uh, on which I put my, uh, um, my, my event, my uh, my issue. Uh, so there is this uh, commons jar. Uh, this commons jar, pretty much like we saw here, is deployed inside a WAR file. This WAR file is inside a Debian package, and this Debian package is inside a Docker image in a specific layer. So we basically can see all the layers and the, the path of, uh, of impact. Uh, so, so this is basically X-ray. Uh, it's a very minimal impact analysis that is, uh, that is open and universal. Our first version is uh, bundled with version I. So we have the database of a couple of millions of records coming from version I scanning. And Robert here just made version I uh, fully open source. So it's great, great news for the community.
And li like anything we do in JFOG, uh, we are doing things uh, open and universal. So we have already integration uh, planned with uh, Black Duck software and right source, uh, source, source software. Uh, and uh, we're hoping to get more on board. Um, yeah, uh, one very major difference is the integration with Artifactory. So the impact analysis and the very close integration, uh, all API driven uh, from Artifactory to X-Ray and al allows us to do a very sophisticated impact analysis to a very uh, large uh, big data of records uh, very quickly, almost in, uh, in uh, near time. In real time, sorry. Uh, this is going to be available live. Uh, so this is a better version. It's in active development. It's going to be live by the end of June. Uh, so expect the final release then. And uh, that's it. Thank you, guys.